What that we have to discuss a good representation or a good actual of a whole electromagnetic system is by actually using double axis cylinders. Double axis cylinders are widely used to be because of number one, it's length, it has a good length, unlike the single axis cylinder. And at the same time, number two, the flexibility of controlling the speed of the cylinder for forward or retract using the box. At the same time, I will now be introducing to you to one of our new equipment or new components that we will be using at this period of time. And because it's one, a 5 over 2 way double solenoid valve. The solenoid valve is actually this black component here on which it tries to actuate the valves whether it will be going on the forward or on the track. As you can see, it has a marking here that this would be a 2.4 watts, 24 volts. It's a small one. It will be powered up with a power supply. Again, an electro-demanding system is without uh, it's nothing without the use of what we call the power supply. We have the compressor, <coughs> now for the electric plug, we need 24 volts of power supply. Say so a question, why 24 volts? Why 24 volts? Why is our PLC running on 24 volts? Why is it that the power supply that we are using, the solid waste that we will be updating, are all 24 volts? Volts. The reason why we have a 24 volt supply is number one, during the history that we are creating automated machines, the best way to control a on top system or a discrete system is by using PC. You know that already during your logic circuit. Why is it that we try to use a PC supply on the logic circuits? It's because it could maintain. A voltage level of 5 volts or either a voltage level of 0 volts to be considered as either 1 or 0. We cannot use sinusoidal, sinusoidal circuits it's because why? It's because your waveform for a sinusoidal supply is passing to the zero mark and at the same time it is fluctuating. That's the number one reason why is it that most automation systems are running on this. Why most computers, or actually all computers, are running on DC? Then, it has a supply, yes, if you have a bit of supply. Yes, but you are putting it on the power supply inside, where the power supply converts your 200 millivolts into what? How many DC supplies? Either 12 or 5 volts, maybe even 3.3 volts. So we have three supplies under the power supply of the even your laptops are absolutely easy. It's because of what we told you. Now, the question the next next is why 24 volts? During the time that we introduced DC circuits, that we tried to introduce automation circuits, the best way to control the automation circuit with backup supply is by using batteries. The batteries that we have in the industry is ranging from 12 to 24 volts DC. Why is it 24 that most of the standard batteries for backup use is 24 volts? That's why in most automation systems we try to use 24 volts DC, even on PLC. Nowadays, with advancement of technology and lower and much efficient systems, we now try to use a 5 volt system in the terms of like, say, for example, hard to be in the MCU, and the things like that. Even Raspberry Pi is rather than 5 volt system. That's now becoming the standard. But still, the most popular standard that we are using for automation, most especially for PLCs, and much equipment like this, are all running. Now, also in our discussion, we have some components like switch box, 
This time we will not be using any pneumatic switches, rather we will be using electronic switches, as well as what we call relays in the form of a feedback. With this combination, we will be trying to create what is within our design and trying to activate the whole system. So you will be doing this in the same time I'll be having a specific image that would work, that would be working in this kind of. Now, first things first. As shown on your laptops right now, I have a basic pneumatic circuit. This is just a pneumatic circuit. So the first thing that we need to have is install our double app. The next thing that you need to do is to try to take a look at LS1 and LS2. That stands for the limit switch. Where does the limit switch be located? So LS1 is located where? Some position not seen in their box. Retra or forward? Forward. LS1? Retra. Retra position. So you use or get a limit switch, any limit switch will and put it at the, the retra position of this. Okay. Tama yung position ni J. Pagdating sa position ng cylinder, pero dapat kung saan ka babalik, doon mo yung sa So dapat makaposition siya dito. That stands for LS1. Next, LS2. Where would you put LS2? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we trigger load the bundle in switch. <coughs> For safety, so that it doesn't move, you pull your tabs for the Hey, okay. The next thing that we need to connect or you need to lay out is the 5 over 2 way double solid file. As much as possible, that your 5 over 2 way solid is a little bit near to your cylinder. Very good. Now, the next thing that we need to connect are the pneumatic codes. Well, the gate. The gate of the pneumatic code are the elevator. Put it at the top one. So we have our air service unit connected up. Now we need to connect those connecting wires. <coughs> the next thing that I'll be putting is what we call our switch box. I'll be putting it at the bottom of my workstation. Well, it looks a little bit closer for those electrical components that we will be using. Relay box, in case that we need a relay in this particular activity, and ito ang ating setup. You have your pneumatic system here, you have your electrical system here. So, lahat ng electrical system natin na sa toba, then yung pneumatic system na sa toba. So, that would be our setup. This time, class, word of caution. You may now damage a particular equipment, most especially on our pilots, which is the PNC. That's why utmost attention is much needed it's because once that you gain a wrong connection to the electrical circuit, you might damage a particular 25,000 equipment supplied by 5,000 worth of boxes. Switch box palatron, maybe one more. Better yet, you might destroy a 320,000 peso PNC. The Allen Bradley PNC is worth 320,000 pesos from the supplier. And you will be getting our things from the supplier. That's why I would tell you to actually listen and look. It focuses on the 
So that's why, if you notice, it's a little bit boring and a little bit slow compared to what we are doing. So we will be having a pneumatic pause. So we will be putting our pressure board to the air distributor. Next. The air distributor will be connected to the valve <coughs> of your air service unit. Then, the air service unit portions, the outlet, in the outlet portions will be connected now to your... I'll be using this time a bigger compressor because it, not, it has more air and more power I will not be powering up yet. So this is a simple representation of our system right now. This is just on the part of the pneumatic side. The pneumatic side will fix the hill, stable the Actually, I could still check if my system is working by pressing the manual override, the red button here. The small button here, if I could go forward for the track. Check. So it goes forward. Then, if I press the red button here, it will go track. Now, I'll be turning off first my pneumatic. So that's the first thing I need to have. Again, standard na to. The A will be connected to the retract position of my cylinder and my B port or 4 to the pesto will be always connected to the forward side. The third, this is the thing. Fix the yung pneumatic circuit. Ang iisipin nyo na lang is yung electrical circuit. And we have so many combinations that we can do in order for us to use this particular circuit. Now, as I try to finish my creation now, I need to create the control circuit for my cylinder here. So going back to your laptop, I need to create a ladder diagram. Now the idea here that I'll be doing is when I try to press my push button, this will forward a bit track continuously. Then when I try to press stop, the system is done. If you notice, I always try to work on relays first. Hindi ako kumagalaw na pagkapindi ko dito po sa bottom, so hindi na natin. Always try to work first on the relay. The relay is the one responsible for making the solenoid on or off. At the time of it. So I'll be putting my mix switch in parallel, so it means that setting will be to be a matching circuit, yes. So this should be solenoid, but I'll be putting this one as A plus. Ito nga sa left side ko, tandaan ninyo, pag mag-go forward ako ng cylinder, ang solenoid ko palagi, pag forward ang cylinder ko ay kaluwa. This should be A plus. And I have R1 here at the bottom to actually recognize A plus. The data has the right side is what? A minus. Okay. Try not to let it only connect so that we have a feel of how we try to connect the circuit here at the board. Kaso may problema, hindi yan mabalik. Tandaan ko yung isa ito. Once na naka-energize ang isang solenoid, kung alin nyo, una ninyo i-energize, yun yung kanyang i-a-apoy hanggang nakalatch. I-energize ko man na ito, hindi ito gagana hanggang energize itong kaliwa. At tandaan nyo yun ha. Pag energize ko man na ito, at nakalatch, Hindi hindi siya may pa-forward at hindi 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 h
So every time that you do that, try first to the energizer, set it bago na siya nag-track. So nag-track mo sa ngayon, is I manually press this button. So ngayon, itutulit natin. Tatagalin ko ulit yung circuit na to without really touching the pneumatic system. Babay ko rin tayo dito. The next thing that I need to do is to what? Kung na-energize ko na yung circuit ko at na-forward ko na yung cylinder ko, ngayon, ano yung mga kapagpasabi sa atin na nila nang pumalit? Kung na-forward ko na yung cylinder ko, ano naman yung magpapatrigger sa cylinder na nang pumalit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, LS, Kutu. So, kailangan po ng isang main switch. Ah, pagkakalaman po siya, LS2. Yung LS2 yung masasabi sa akin na boy, kailangan po na bumalik. Then, Dalawin mo na ako na isang normally closed dito. Mamaya, dito sa swap, bakit kailangan natin ng normally closed? Then, kukuha ko ng relay, and I'll be putting this one as R2. R2. Then, Dalagay ako ng normally open na contact nakaparalel sa LS2 so that I can apply latch tapos dapat ito ay R2 Ngayon, bakit saan ako may R2? Anong kagawin dapat ni R2? So, kagawin dapat ni R2 is A- So, papa-retract ako. So, this will be R2. Then, itong solidate natin will be A minus. At the same time, plus, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang depth na ka-energize yung latching ko kay R1 at naka-energize din si solidate A plus, pag nag-drop dapat ako, dapat di-energize si solenoid A+. Paano ko mag-disable si solenoid A+. Yun yung circuit na yun, so namin normally close. Na-switch, nakatabi ni R1. Bakit? Gagawin ko ngayon na ito, ang label is what? Ang label naman na is? R2. R2. Ang tawag natin dito sa process na ito is that once na na-energize mo and na-lunch mo siya and tumating siya sa LS2 and which is the next process yung previous process mo dapat dapat mo siya ano? disconnect. Ang tawag natin dun sa R2 contact na katabi sa kapta R1 is disconnecting the previous process. Nang sa ganun, mag-retract yung aking cylinder. Tingnan natin sa simulation to the time. Pagka-press ko ng start, mag-forward, then it reaches R2, so then it's R2. Okay, press the start. We'll go forward, but once the glitch has LS2, the disconnect is R1, CR in the room. Come on now. Then I need to press stop to reset here. Press the start. Forward, 
Revenue activity to LS2, may I replace R2? This connected is R2 to the axis. A minus to my two. Gumagana. Ngayon, ang ginagawa natin yun, ito ba mapansin ninyo? Pagka-start ko, mag-forward, then mag-retract, then I need to reset again my system para magamit ko ulit C, o mag-forward to ulit C, R1. Kasi hindi na nagkana siya ako dito kahit ko na siya yung start. Kailangan ko yung reset. Pero, may isa pa dito ang tanong. Sir, ang gagawin natin dito sa R1 at saka sa R2 dapat karagi sila ano, forward, backward at hindi mo pinipress na stop plus button. So ano ang dapat natin gawin? Ang dapat nagpapal ng isang bar? Sir So, nandiyan ako ng isa pang set key. Ito. At ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Sino uli ang magpapaporward ng ating cylinder? At magpapadirevergence ng R2. Sino? Diba pag bumalik sa cylinder, kailangan magpaporward nyo. Tama? So, ano dapat ang switch na magpapatigil sa akin kung balik uli sa E-class? C, LS1. Then, ito yun ay C, R, hindi R1, bawal kumulit ng point. Nagamit na tayo ng isang ha? Pero yung point na yun, yung R3 na yun, anong gagawin niya? Dapat i-reduce yung DC? R1. So, gagamit ako ng normally open na contact. R2. In parallel dun sa aking start plus button, ang gagawin ko siya? R3. Paano tumatawin yung si R1? Ano bang ginagawa ng R1? Back, 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 body, in class. So, ganun mo yung ating system na meron tayo. Kaso may problema. Don't worry. Pag wala lang kasi yung mahinga na namin yan, lumalabas yung namin yan dun sa release, dun sa pulit silver, dun sa regulator. Okay. So, yung problema dito sa setting na to. Ano sa tingin nyo yung mayang problema? yung sa walang arco Any case pa rin ang arco? Paano mo matiging any case sa arco? Talagay niyo ang arco Break Yung sa break switch Ito Nagawin ko gano? R2 R2 R3 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 Kasi yung R3 yung mag-disconnect na natin R2 We use Masis. Dito tayo mong magkain. R1 naman ito. R1. Dito tayo mong magkain. Hindi R2 ulit. Hindi ba mag-i-class? Hindi i-class yan. R2 ulit. Tingnan ninyo kung ano yung pinakamalaking problem ng kain. Tingnan ninyo kung ano yung pinakamalaking problem ng kain. David Switch Tignan niyo yung symbol kung may ito sa LS1 May arrow up May arrow na pataas, tama ba? Kung may arrow na pataas sa LS1 Ano nang i-LS sa R3 po? Energize Kung energize yung R3 po, ano nang i-LS sa R3 na pataas po? Pag-close, kung nakakos, hindi na niyo yung circuit niyo 
Ang mula ng sabihin ni Purpose, punta ang RT hanggang R1. Anong mayayari? Buhay? Buhay! Kaya hindi ang mayayari pag binigay ko. Hindi na din babalik. Nakapang-work lang. Ah, power work and down. Oh, 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 Forward ng child ang pero press yung stop. Tumigil. Pero kung sa binita ko ko yung stop, push button ko, gagalaw mo yan. Press na ulit yung set ang stop. Kung binita ko ko si stop, push button, gagalaw ulit. Anong problema? Kasi si NS1, na-trigger na agad niya si R3. R3. So, ano naman na mag-prevent na to? para hindi agad kumana si R3. As soon as manenergize mo, masaksak mo yung supply ko. R2. Hindi ko sa listang ito, ang aming system. Kailangan ko muna ang magkaroon. Ito na yung isa sa mga technique na yung i-discuss sa inyo. Madalawa na ito sa tunay. Yung una, is yung technique na every time na mag- To proceed ka sa next process, kailangan yung meaning ng next process mo, hindi disconnect yung mismo yung previous process. Ngayon lang, ang sunod ko may ituturo sa inyo is, kailangan mo po nang bago mag-proceed sa next process, ang tanong, nagawa na ba yung daging process? Kung naka-impas ako at kung hindi may nas ako, ang tanong ba, ay nag-i-class ko na ba ang system ko? Bago ako mag-i-mail ko. Dito, sa LS1, kailangan ko muna mag-check kung si R2 ba ay gumana. Ano? Kung si R2 ay gumana. So, pagkakuloy ko dito, sa last process ko, at ito yung mag-i-mail ko na ang signature. Copy, paste. Nagamit ako ng normally open na contact at R2 din siya na magsasabi sa akin na kung matitrigger si LS1, nagawa ko na ba si R2? Kung nagawa ko si R2, eh, energize si R3. Pag tinergize ko si R3, nakapapal na papatayin si ito. Yung dati kong process na si R2. R2. <coughs> Pag tinigna natin yan, walang nangyari sa process niya. Tama? Pero pag pinarest ko yung smart push button, pag-loop yan. Amazing. Pag dating ng LS1, na-check niya na yung previous process ng mga nanap pa, and deliver smart key, patay niya yun yung previous process. Ah, bakit? Ah, sobrang bilis ko siya. Kailangan natin may delay. Hindi na kailangan ng delay. Nagpulitin natin is limit. Nagpulitin lang tayo ng gachi. Ulit. RP. Then, nagpulitin tayo ng Normally close. At gagawin ko itong normally close na ito na R1. Again, disconnect the previous process. Ano ba yung sunod na process ni R3? Babalik mo ito pa siya kay R1. Tignan natin. Uh, 
Kailangan din niya ng patabihin ng R3 na Ah, sorry! Hindi nga pala siya kailangan ng halita ko ang mahalin. Bali yung kapit ko ng latch. Tapag nasa latch siya ni Free LS1 and R2. Para magtunta niya ka siya. Try natin nila. Start. Hindi pa connected siya. Hindi pa connected nila. Continuation of the last meal. Pag may rest ko yung stop to fall dito. Patay ko yung system. Okay. Ito sa recap. Ang ginawa natin. So we have, yung unang process ko is R1. Ano gagawin yung R1? I8 plus yung system ko. So ang hiniyari, at the press ko ng start, and we're facing R1, latch R1. So, mayingyan, let's keep press ngayon ng forward. Pag forward na, at ginawaan niya si LS2. Pag i-trigger, sino? R2. Si R2. Ano ba yung nagagawin ni R2? Bago. So, mayingyan muna, i-disconnect niya muna sino? Yung previous process na si R1. Bakit? Ang gagawin ko si R2 ay mag A minus. Doon nag A minus pa siya at tinamaran niya si LS1. Select muna natin kung si LS1 o si R2 ba ay gumana. Kung si R2 ay gumana at the trigger si LS1, saka pa lang na yung relevay sino? Si R3. Ano nga yung gagawin ni R3? Nakalatch. Ang gagawin nyo yung R3, i-disconnect nyo yung previous process na si R2, at the same time, i-re-rendergize ko ito, at pahilawin ko magagalahin sino? R1. Kaya ang gagawin nyo yung R1, i-disconnect naman nyo si R3, then, pag-i-impass yung R2. So, ang pangyari, nagkaroon siya ng tinatawag na lupa. Tatandaan, sa mga teknik, Ano ginagawa ng system natin? A plus at A minus. Kung hindi siya mag-look back, the number of process or the number of delays is equal to the number of process. Pero kung may look back, katulad na ito, plus, kasi yung plus 1 mo ay yung look back. Gawin natin itong circuit na ito, ito sa board. 